my virtual friends, my name is Catherine, also known as Miss Blue, and welcome to Astro. This is an awesome looking little space game that just has a narrative order, it's got gravity mechanics and all sorts of fun stuff. So, let's get on into it. A. Space. Enter. I do not know what that symbol means here, game. That one, this one, click. Oh boy, this is going great already. Z, X, C. I'm pressing all the options here, lads. Don't you worry about that. Ah, I, I got one. <laughs> Oh, it was E, of course, I forget. Apologies. Production power has become scarce on Earth. For many years, people have funded expeditions to find alternative sources. All have failed. Ah. Now only one option is left. Us, the noble questers. A theory suggests that the radiation from a small black hole could power the entire world with electricity. I don't know much about space, but that's a dangerous option, but if it's the final solution then, who am I to judge? About the only way to harness that energy would to have, would, ha would to have it be or I can't read, have it or rotate Earth basically. Got ya. Great. Dangerous, but sure, okay. We have no knowledge of these tiny black holes since no one has ever found one. In order to supply Earth with energy, I have been sent out to find and investigate a possible small black hole. Right, ah, I see, okay, ah, you want a controller, do you? Well then, give me one merry moment and I shall plug it right in. So then, I had a feeling that you would want this, but I didn't think thusly, because I wrote down the keyboard controls in my little notebook over there, just to be sure, because I don't want to look silly when playing a game that much anymore, even though, you know what I mean? Never mind, okay. Right, uh, we have movement, and wait, that's it, B, thrust. Ah, thrusting. Oh boy, it's one of these. Oh no, boy. Okay, right. Follow the arrow. Oh, quick, go down. Land proper. Oh, jeez. Perfect. Ah, perfection. There we go. That's a proper... There we go. That's a proper landing right there, lads. I did it. It's perfect. Ignore the first one where I would have killed everyone on board. Don't you worry. It's fun. It's quite fun observing these asteroids. Uh, uh, oh, God. Observing these asteroids as they attract my ship. Yes! Just don't mind the fact that I'm sort of crashing you into them quite terribly and we are careening out of control. Oh wait, uh, there's a button for slow motion, wasn't there? I can't remember what it was. You said it a second ago, I'm sure you did. With the right speed and trajectory, I could probably put myself into an orbit of a lonely one. I'm gonna send you straight into one at this rate, my lad. I am sorry to say, but this is what's going to happen at this rate. Ah! The, a nebula, I think. Oh god, hang on, wait. Down, down, rocket down, there we go. Wow, this is a big cloud of dust and gases. We probably shouldn't be running through it then. Just in case. If I was a bit bigger, gravity could cause it to collapse in on itself and start a nuclear fusion of all its hydrogen power of a star. To form a star, I think. I should probably get out of it so I don't get too much dust in my propulsion system. So way ahead of you, buddy. I'm already there. Right. It's incredible to experience how space actually is. I can imagine. Just, uh, don't rightly mind what's going on currently, I think. It would be your best option. Right, uh, you escape all the gravities now. Oh, dear. Nevertheless, I'm really happy my ship is fitted with this lovely navigation system. I would probably be lost without it. Um, I think we're losing ourselves already here, sir. I'm so sorry to say. You picked the wrong pilot to help you out here. Anyway, okay, I'm, try I'm stuck in a really bad place here. I'm just being slingshotted all around here. There we go, okay. I'm very glad for this hour, else I would be very much lost in this space, but aha! Slingshot, let's go! Straight line! That's, that's not a straight line, me. That's a curve. That's a very wild and deviated curve. That's a spin now. Oh, good God. I can't can't space to save my life. Beautiful, that's the sun! Ah, the star looks just like our sun. Perfectly in balance between its gravity and the pressure of the energy from the nuclear fu fusion or fission within its core. If only we could harness the power of our sun, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't have to be out here all alone. Aw, you poor thing. That's such a wee shame. I don't mind how I semi-crashed us into the sun. This is just how we do now. Get a short burst now for ease of your comfort and oh we don't crash into uh, crash into things several times and then get ensnared by their horrendous gravity as these asteroid moon type things just somehow crash into one another we're having a avengers level of like oh these planets just could sit next to each other no cosmic occurrences shall tell it otherwise 
Speaking of Avengers, it was awesome, but I won't say a single thing about it, just in case you haven't seen it, just go see it. Avoid Twitter, it's spoiler free. I mean, not spoiler free, spoiler filled, in fact, that's what I should say. I'm glad I also got the opportunity to uh, do a thing. We now have a companion though. Oh, dude, don't make me feel sad, honestly. Right, oh, I didn't come in for that today. It's, I, I came home at like 3 a.m. last night after the movie, so that's why I'm sort of only doing one today. And not talking about the movie, or shouldn't be at the very least, but yeah, they did not throw any punches. <laughs> like, yeesh. But anyway, ah, oh, don't, don't get me stuck at the planetary grinder, no thank you, no. It looks like the stars run out of hydrogen and turn into a red giant. I would so like to see it, give me a sec and I'll run up to it. Oh, ah. Giant indeed, I should not be standing on it. It's now started to fuse all of its helium into carbon, making the outside layer expand. How interesting, I should get off it. This is a smaller giant, so it's going to, oh, I'm facing the wrong way. So it's going to lose, lose half of its outer layer soon to create a planetary nebula. Ah, I should probably get away before that happens. You're right on it, good sir. I shall not delay you a second more, for we shall flee alongside this arrow. Oh, it's like we're flying together. It's like we're flying together until I crash into another asteroid. Good for me. Houston is actually not entirely sure how to make a black hole orbit our Earth. I doubt they would want to at this rate, considering how deadly terrifying those things are. And we all know what Hawking said about how they are in pop culture. Like, I mean, in an interstellar after all, but oh boy. I guess they'll figure out when I find one, if ever. Well, part of me thinks that we may at this point. Because if you don't, then all this battering will be for naught. But I like the dance we're doing with- Ah! A white dwarf, the hot remnant of a dead star. Yes, to be a mighty forge one day in a certain universe. <laughs> it's going to be a couple of million years, hang on, a, mo a million years for it's cold enough to become a black dwarf. Hmm. <clears throat> Wait, black dwarf? I don't think I've ever heard of one of those. Odd, oh well then. My space knowledge is pretty much limited to like, things I read about like from Brian Cox's books for example and uh, the study of interstellar that Kit Thorne wrote about. He was like the lead scientist on, or the scientific advisor thereof, on that film. A very cool book, I love it a lot. Can't wait to get home and tell my children about this. Being out here alone truly makes my perception of things, many things, or widens perhaps, I think they said, I just missed the word. Don't mind, oh dear, I'm in a bad cluster. I wonder what they are doing right now. Aging at such a rapid pace that when you return that you'll barely be able to recognize them If we're going on the uh, Deadly deadly sad route which may or may not happen a neutron star I don't think anyone's ever been this close to one before and I don't think we should keep going on that front It must have been a huge red giant to be able to fuse elements all the way to iron before collapsing into your giant supernova to create this Yeah, let's not touch it it's only around 20 kilometers in diameter, but it's as dense as our sun. It's as dense. Oh, oopsie daisy. I should probably get away before it crushes me. You got it, sir. I will not hang around a second more, even though I just sort of stood on it. As I've done. Technically, we're just, a, we're just defying the impossible in this particular episode. We stepped on the sun. We bashed into all sorts of things. This is just going great. The pull of these asteroids is starting to annoy me. Oh, d d uh, buddy. <laughs> you have been the most patient sod in the universe, considering what I put you through currently, but I appreciate you nonetheless. I can definitely tell how this would annoy you a lot, but I'm doing my best. Wait, what's happening? Why is everything turning purple? What? Is it? Oh, it is kind of. There's a hue going on here. Nay, with the hues here, game. I need to follow my purple arrow friend as we dance through space together totally like Wally. It's adorable. Ah, uh, the gravity's all gone. That's interesting. I don't see any stars in front of me. Could I possibly find a black hole? You shouldn't be so glad that you have, because if you can't see stars, you can't see light and everything that is uh, taken by a black hole would technically mean you're at the epicenter or the event horizon. It's actually mesmerizing. It is quite nice. I'm following you, little arrow buddy. We can twirl and dance through space together. So glorious. They're a glorious little opera. I'm starting to feel the gravitational pull. I should probably turn away. There again, I'm so close. I agree. Further. Onwards to adventure. And probable death. Oh. Oh no, it's gravity. It's going too strong. It's pulling me in. I cannot get away. Whoops. Oh dear. No, the event horizon. I'll never get out. Oh shit. Ah! Oh dear. I'm sorry, buddy. I pulled you in. 
I just want to go home, aww. Game? Ah, there we go. Made for the theory and practice of game development course facilitated by Henrik Sh Shono Fogg at Alborg University in Copenhagen. Ah, well done, good developers. That was so cool. I really liked that. That's sort of the same, like, uh, way of making me interested in space and all that as, as Interstellar had. So good job to you on that front. This is really neat. Oh, I loved it so much. Like, so anybody who was a fan of space could be like, oh, it's so fun. But then they all scoff at the whole, like, oh, I just crashed into an asteroid and absolutely no detrimental effects happen. But we can certainly forgive the game for that because if that, if they made it like realistic and all like sort of Kerbal Space Program levels, then we wouldn't be anywhere good at this point because I would have killed this person within the first five seconds of launch. So we will have to end it there. That, uh, the end of that little sad story here. So then, that was Astro. It's a free little game on itch.io. You can find the link in the description as per usual. I'll give it a play for yourself. Maybe you can be a bit more skillful about weaving so masterfully through all those asteroids. But I will say so that to control your uh, point as well because like, that purple thing did actually hint at where you were going so there you go but anyway i will end this episode here thank you all so very kindly for watching subscribe if you want to see more and i hope to see you in the next one see you later